This is a bizarre looking spider and you've probably never heard of it, but after today, you're never gonna forget it. My name is Spencer and welcome to my wild backyard. Today, we are looking for some of the strangest invertebrates you can find here in the Southeast US. And uh, one of the things I don't do enough of is exploring after dark. And if I'm looking for unusual animals, I'm gonna have to resort to unusual tactics. And what better place to look for bizarre nighttime creatures than right around my house? Once the cover of night falls, a whole new world awakens. Bizarre creatures emerge from hiding to carry out their secret lives under cover of darkness. The best way to find these creatures is to brave the night and head out, shining with a flashlight, hoping to see some of these incredible, elusive creatures. One of these strange nocturnal animals is actually one of the strangest spiders in the world. And you know how much I can't resist a strange spider. Here we go. Have a look at this. They look almost like brown recluses, but they're actually even stranger, and I dare say even more special. There we go. That'll do. Little spitting spider right here. Now this is the six-eyed spitting spider. And it's a weird tan little spider that only comes out after dark and hides under lots of different things. And it'd be easy how you'd see this and mistake it for a brown recluse. The biggest thing though, if you look at it, its legs are kind of weird and knobbly compared to that of a brown recluse and the patterning on it is way different. Brown recluses are usually gonna have a violin looking shape on their cephalothorax. This spider does not. The biggest thing is that weird humped thorax. This is a bizarre looking spider and you've probably never heard of it, but after today, you're never gonna forget it because this is probably one of the strangest spiders you could possibly come across out here in the secret world wildlife all around us. We've worked with lots of animals that have really special, unique characteristics, especially spiders. We've worked with smart spiders. We've worked with the fastest spiders. We've even worked with some of the most venomous spiders. But this, this animal right here has probably one of the most unique biologies of any arachnid you've ever seen. And it's where it gets its name, the spitting spider. Now the six eyed part is pretty obvious. They have six eyes, just like a brown recluse. But that weird humped thorax is what gives them away as a spitting spider and not a brown recluse. And that humped thorax actually holds the key to this spider's really strange biology. Most spiders only have their silk glands in their abdomens or their epistosomas. And this spider is no exception to the fact that it has silk glands in its abdomen, but it also has two silk glands packed inside its big old head. And that is why its head is so bulbous and weirdly humped like that. I might be asking Spencer, why the heck would this spider want to have silk glands in its head? And that is where it gets really strange. See, this spider has silk glands that are attached to its venom glands and they feed through its fangs, which essentially creates this pressure system that allows it to spray web, but it doesn't just spray web. See, that would make the spider weird, sure, because there aren't any spiders besides spitting spiders that spray web, but the spitting spider takes it one step further in terms of being one of the strangest spiders on the planet. The webs that it sprays are actually combined with this spider's venom. So when this spider sprays web, it's not just shooting web, it's shooting venom laced web. And that is how it subdues its prey. It sees a prey item and it'll shoot two streams of venom laced web right out of its fangs. The prey has no chance to react and doesn't even know what hits it until it's covered with this sticky, paralyzing fluid. What I'm hoping to show you in just a second is how they actually spray it. Because it's not just used for hunting. That ability is also used for defense. See, as you can tell here, the spitting spider is not the fastest nor most agile spider. Wolf spiders, jumping spiders, a lot of other nocturnal spider species that are built for speed are gonna have a lot better time hunting spiders like this. So this little guy needs a special secret weapon to defend itself in the wild. And I'm actually gonna go do a little setup and I'm gonna see if I can get that web shooting on film because this spider is a real life Spider-Man. What I'm essentially doing here is attempting to scare the spider into spraying. These spitting spiders will occasionally spray web as a defense. However, given their secretive and non-aggressive nature, 
A lot of times, they'll just simply flee back into the shadows. It took a little bit of coaxing, and I had to show this spider that I really meant business. But finally, I got the exact shot I was looking for, right on camera. That's absolutely insane, you can see it. Just shoot straight out of the spider's mouth. Firing web at my finger, and it's so sticky. The spitting spider has probably one of the most unique defense mechanisms I've ever seen out here in the secret world of wildlife that exists all around us. But trust me when I say there are far stranger creatures than this spitting spider. If you want to see the most bizarre arachnid that I've ever encountered, check out this video where I found an ornate harvestman. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.